Data verification helps keep others from accessing your account because each time you sign in, Google sends a short code to your phone that you type in to access your account. This gives you two layers of security with something you know, your password, and something you have, your phone. But what happens if you want this extra security, but you might not always have phone service or access to your phone? Don't worry. There are three different ways you can use two-step verification without your phone. You can set up these options ahead of time so you can be prepared. First option is to provide a backup phone number. To add a backup phone number to your Google account, go to myaccount.google.com, sign in and security, scroll down and click on two-step verification. Log into your Google account and scroll down to voice or text message. There you will see your recovery phone number and to add a backup phone number, click add phone Choose your country code, enter phone number you want to use as a backup phone number, and click Done. Now we need to verify this backup phone number. To do so, click this pencil icon here and click Verify. Choose how you want to receive a verification code as a text message or phone call and click Next. Now wait for a security code to arrive to your phone number. Once you get it, enter it here and click Done. Now backup phone number has been verified. If you are signing in and don't have your phone, you can send your code to a backup phone. Use the phone numbers of people you trust, like friends or family members. Second option is to print out backup codes. You can generate a set of uh, 10 backup codes on the security section of your account page. You, uh, to find a backup codes, go to myaccount.google.com, sign in and security, two-step verification, scroll down, and you will see backup codes. Here you see show codes because I already generated my codes. So now I can show them. Uh, once you click Generate Codes, you will see them like this. They work just like the codes you receive on your phone. You can print them out and keep them somewhere safe or store them to your computer. Each code can only be used once, but you can generate another set anytime you need them. And once you generate a new set of codes, the old ones will be deactivated. Third option is to register devices you use often. If you are signing in on a browser, on a computer, you use often, you can check a box here so that computer doesn't ask for a code each time. This also works when you are signing in on browsers with other devices, such as phones or tablets. Two-step verification adds extra security to your Google account and gives you three different options to choose from when you don't have access to your phone. For more information, visit the two-step verification page at google.com slash two-step. Feel free to leave me a feedback in the comment below and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks.